Autoclaving, which is a saturated steam under high pressure, is the most common method for sterilizing surgical instruments, but a cold sterilization method may also be used. Prior to sterilization, clean the instrument and lubricate all hinged instruments with a surgical instrument lubricant. Do not use WD-40 oil or other industrial lubricants. Cold sterilization involves soaking instruments in a cold sterilant like Cydex for at least 10 hours. This process may be detrimental to fine instruments. If disinfection is all that is required and not sterilization, a 10 to 90 minute soak in Cydex may be all that is necessary. When using instruments with tungsten carbide inserts, Avoid using solutions with benzoyl ammonium chloride. If you prefer to autoclave, instruments may be autoclaved individually or in sets. Disposable paper or plastic pouches are ideal for autoclaving individual instruments. The instrument needs to be sterilized in an open, unlocked position. Locking an instrument prevents steam from reaching and sterilizing all the surfaces. And Heat expansion during autoclaving can cause cracks in the hinges of locked instruments. Do not overload the autoclave chamber, as this may also hinder steam penetration. Instruments can be placed in sterilization trays or wrapped in paper or muslin before autoclaving. This helps to prevent contamination of the instruments after sterilization. Arrange the instruments, sterilization trays, or packs in the autoclave without stacking them. The steam must circulate freely inside the autoclave. Follow the manufacturer's directions for adjusting the time, temperature, and pressure of the autoclave cycle. At the end of the autoclave cycle, when the pressure reaches zero, unlock the autoclave door and open it a centimeter or so to allow the steam to escape. If the autoclave door is opened fully before the drying cycle, cold room air will rush into the chamber, causing condensation on the instruments. This will result in water stains on the instruments and also cause wet packs. Run the drying cycle as recommended by the autoclave manufacturer until the instruments are dry about 30 minutes. Using sterile tongs, remove all the instruments, trays, and packages. Allow them to cool to room temperature before storing. Unwrapped items must be used immediately or may be stored in covered dry sterile trays for up to a week. Store wrapped packages in a warm dry closed cabinet. Instruments remain sterile as long as the wrap is dry and intact. With proper care and maintenance, your instruments will last for years to come. Understanding the difference between cleaning, disinfecting, and sterilizing can safeguard your research and protect your investment in surgical instruments, equipment, and laboratory animals. If you have any questions about the care of your surgical instruments, visit our website or give us a call here at WPI.